This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel K and I'm back with another toy review or actually an upgrade review because this guy right here, Jinbao Devastator, is gonna get a upgrade because I received the parts from Jinbao. So you have a couple different things uh, which, you know, for the arms, the feet, it's gonna be interesting. Uh, I This actually... Yeah, I think this is my actual first upgrade kit ever. So, welcome. This is a first. Uh, so, thanks for stopping by. Uh, before I do the upgrade, I just want to remind you, though, to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. Also, check out the interview playlist. It's uh, worth the listen to watch if you want to learn, uh, you know, more about uh, voice acting. I uh, interviewed uh, 9, 10 actors now, so it's... Uh, very interesting experience. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. Okay, so out of the box, you have the head, chest piece, some green stuff that I don't know where it goes. You have the visors, which go directly on the head, like this. To give him the more cartoon look, but if you want it without the actual uh, visor, I guess you can do that. Uh, the two feet adapters, you have the hand adapters, and of course, the pants which actually I was hoping they would be heavier. They feel very hollow, but look good. I mean, nice paint, nice uh, uh, green plastic, of course, with purple plastic, silver highlights, you know, all that stuff. And I'm guessing this is where uh, the uh, um, long haul is going to go now. And I think he gets a kind of a bigger backpack. And I know Memo told me there's a way that you can disassemble part of um, long haul to uh, I think it's long haul to have the, like a flusher back so I don't know if I'll do that I'm, I, I'm not a big fan of disassembling figures you have the instructions which are very clear as to what you're supposed to be doing uh, so that's nice uh, this is how to install uh, long haul uh, mostly a uh, little bit no, that's pretty much all long haul here, yeah. And then on this side, you have uh, the arms, uh, the feet. So, yeah, everything's good. Transform Phase 2! Okay, so he's not standing right now. So, this is a handheld shot. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm holding him because he's falling forward. And so, this is what he looks like now. Um, I already like this guy, but I mean, you see here the st stability, the top of the foot is completely caved in. And that's, that was my biggest fear with getting an upgrade kit, that it wouldn't be fixing that. And from the image, it didn't seem that it did, but memo proved to me that it did. So I'm excited just for that. And then the rest, we'll see how it turns out. I mean, he already looks good. Check out the uh, review I did, um of the in individual bots and uh, you know the combined mode uh it's been a while though but uh you know it's still a one of my more more popular reviews so all right so there you go final look at devastator before i'm gonna disassemble him now to install the uh, upgrade parts uh on camera prepare to meet your doom Okay, just to make it easy for me, the instructions are laid down and I'm just going to uh, pop it like that and see uh, if it works and see how it happens. It doesn't look too complicated, but uh, might have some fun with the head. Not sure yet. Okay, uh, let's start with Mixmaster. And it's uh, still a little tricky. I tried it and uh, it's not easy. Um, it's, you have to, they just say, you know, Okay, lift this up like this, put this, there's a hole here, so you want to slide that in, but you don't want to put too much pressure, and then you flip that over it, 
I think I feel it should go a little deeper than that. Uh, but I'm having a hard time. Okay, this part here. Ah, okay. This is going in. There you go. And now... Ah, okay. This is supposed to be... Oh, sliding in like... Oh. Okay. Alright, it pulled out. It might be harder to do on camera than I anticipated. Hold on. Okay, it's... Yeah, it, it does go in there, but you have to wedge it pretty good. Uh, the way that it's uh, basically you put this whole thing here and this the the base is going to support this here so that it doesn't just stay floppy like that and there is stuff here um, that prevents like I'm let's say if I I can't move it now but I'm pressing pretty hard on it and it's not moving so that means he's not going to fall forward and we have achieved victory. That's that's what I wanted. That's, oh man, this is so cool. I really like that. And it's wedged in there pretty good. But I mean, you do have to work it. Uh, and then there's, you know, like little parts on the side here that, that goes uh, like on the inside of the uh, new foot. So that's pretty cool. So that's step one. So that's, he's done. Okay, let's go get the scrapper. Nothing can withstand the might of Devastator. And now this, again, according to the instruction, you just kind of, this goes in front, actually. Uh, I'm just going to match the instruction. It goes like this. All right. He was already more stable than the others, so... Uh, yep, and the grill stays underneath. And there you go. Oh, we have a click. So these are going to pull out. The grill used to be on the inside, but now they're coming off. Could I shove them in there? I'm not going to force it. Huh. Well, that's actually pretty stable. I think I got everything clipped. It kind of moves the, the wheels out a little bit, though, so that the wheels still go over it, because they used to be completely at a 90-degree angle with the, the side, because there's a peg, but with this now, they are no longer pegged. But, hey, it doesn't look half bad. All right, so, a lot of things unhooked as it went. So, all right, well, that's... Good enough. I'm gonna leave them there for now, but I might have to remove them to make some room. All right, let's go get uh, the well, the other guys. For Scavenger, there's nothing to do with the actual robot, so we'll remove him here. It's more about the uh, the head now, uh, no, not the head, the hand. Now they say that you have to remove. The hand. And I have to say that I don't know how to do that. Uh, there's a mushroom peg here. Can it be as simple as that? I think so. Not sure though. Because you see the mushroom here on the instruction. All right, let's... Hold on. We're going to bring out the upgrades. Yeah, there's the same mushroom peg here. So that's going to... There you go. Okay, so that's step one. Step two is put the upgrade in. Ah, uh, okay, so there's a mushroom port here. That actually could be a little tricky to slide in. Oh, there you go. See, we're learning something. I should have rewatched Memo's uh, video. So there you go. So you put this in here, and it plugs nicely, or does it? No, it didn't go in. Ah, there you go. Now it's in. And after you do that, just put this thing over, like this and that, and you have a nice 
new arm and then you shove the hand back in there you go and we're still on the right side we're still everything is good and then if I pop this here you just put the connection in and then you twist that like this there you go so now I have my more flexible arm or I don't think it's more flexible but it's longer you do get uh, you know that extra inch and a half so not bad all right so okay I'm running out of room so I'm gonna pull this guy out and bring the other Okay, again, nothing to do with uh, with Bone Crusher. Actually, I don't even need to move this part here. All I need to do is remove the hand. And now I'm seeing a bit of dust on him, so that's disgraceful. Gonna remove this. Put it like that. Oh, that's tight. Uh, and I'll push on it instead. There you go. Nice connection. Nope. Like this. And then you slide it over. There's a bit of a scratch here or a blemish. So that's too bad. But doesn't uh, seem to be hindering anything. And this is the 2.0 upgrade. Actually, I just for forgot to mention that. I didn't get the other one with the, the drills. And feel like I needed them. Alright, so this looks good. Yeah, I do get longer arms. Alright. hook here might be a little tricky so if I'm looking at the instructions okay after a long combat uh, I finally found I had to remove the casing of the battery to be able to access those little screw here that uh, held the head together. So basically there's a mushroom peg here that goes into the neck. You need that part on the new head. So, but I removed it so that I could better de-install the head. Because I need, you know, if I would have been them, I probably would have, come on, come on, there you go. So, there you go. Now everything falls apart and we have the winning piece. And on the new head, all you have to do is shove it in. It doesn't actually, does it clip? Nope. Uh, it probably does. Hold on. There you go. Click, click. Whoa, the visor fell off. And that is not the first time it happens. So without the visor, and with the visors and the visor doesn't clip which bugs me and then after that i can reinsert this mushroom peg but it's a small piece and you know what i might use some super glue for that and now okay this goes back in here and then this turns around, you bring this back, you put it down, and there we go. Cartoon accurate head of Devastator. Sorry, I'm trying to, this, you know, there is a bit of panel uh, clipping everywhere on this part here, I remember. Uh, it's been a while since I transformed these guys, so. But man, that's a good head sculpt. All right, and now, I'm just going to remove the 
original head and the screws. <laughs> Our trap it is Optimus Prime and no way out. There you go. So it says take this side uh, like this and take the other one here. Nope, take this one. Uh, nope, all right, take this one here. Oh, so you're going to cover the joint here. Oh, you're going to use the joint here on this part like that. Shove it and then put it on in front. Is that the only clip? Just that? And then this one here is facing downward, so the bot is going to rest here. It looks stable enough. Uh, I, I wish that there was an extra... Like, there's a peg hole here. Why not make a peg here? Anyway. Uh, shove that in here, like that. And there you go. You have your larger... Yeah, larger uh, shoulders. <laughs> I have to rearrange a couple things just for space. Uh, this is the original configuration of long haul, which is super annoying because these things, you know, if you move them around, they flap down. But what they want you to do this time is flip those forward so that it doesn't flip anymore. And then... We're looking for it. All right, so then th twist it 360, very loose joint. That's, and then peel back the wheels, open it up like that. All right, now they want you to bring, really? Okay, bring this forward like that. And then twist. Okay, now they like okay, they don't tell me, but they're going in the back. Um, put this here like this in the back. All right, and this is super annoying. You know what? I'm gonna put them back how they were and remove them if I need them to. Okay, uh, so like this. Hmm. Then we're doing. Uh, okay, remove this. Wow. Man, how are they set up? Hold on. This used to be... Uh, okay. I guess I had something not done properly because... They're telling me that my setup here should have looked like this originally. Uh, okay. I guess I just... If it didn't matter for the stability of the figure, I probably just didn't move it. So now they want me to move the fist like this and like this. Oh, lost a piece. And now put it like this. All right, so this works so far. Uh, I have my wheels backwards, well, backwards, you know, in the back, this, they're doing it like this, and like this, okay, and then, okay, so that's, that works, that's how they, I'm gonna turn this a little more, okay, then after that, you turn it like that, uh, you extend this like that, and then, then this part here. So this is like that. You want to, all right, let's forget the stairs. So pull this backwards like this. Man, this is weird. <laughs> I might have to go off camera for this one because this, yeah, hold on. Okay, well, as far as I'm concerned right now, I'm doing what they're telling me to do, but it looks terrible. I mean, this looks too high, but 
guess it doesn't matter. I mean, they, this looks the part. And then I'm taking these things here. All right, so the legs, you have these big pants that you're going to shove in, uh, well, this port here. And the uh, same thing on Mixmaster. So, and it's a little tricky to move them when there's no figure around. So, all right. Actually, yeah, it's really a tight joint, but there you go. So, put it here. And then put it here. This is already way too big. Let me shine some light upwards and move my camera. Wow. He's like more than, this is more than half of the size of the original version. So this looks good. This looks real good. And now I guess this is where we know if it's going to hold. I'm going to add uh, the other guy. Devastator. <laughs> Ah, boom, simple as that. Oh man, he's back heavy. This is for your own good. <laughs> I had to do some cosmetic surgery. Actually, full blown operation. I did have to remove the backpack. And basically, so that the hands don't hide uh, on the side, they're hiding behind now. Um, so, much more cleaner back. Uh, basically, I undid uh, three screws uh, just above the waist rotation of uh, long haul. So now I'm going to add a hook. And I'm hoping that now that the backpack is removed, uh, this is going to fit way better because it was uh, the, sorry, this, the whole uh, hook couldn't really uh, get on well. So this is going to go here like this and this is going to go on this there you go so that doesn't change there's no adapter to make that uh better uh but it you know wasn't that bad to start with so i know i'm missing part of the head right now but uh i'm just gonna put the arms in so now the arms go into the new adapters so let's get the uh, bone crusher so this is the new hand uh, and he's going to go right here. I don't know about this new connection. Like it's just one. Uh, well, it does the job. Is he standing? He is standing. Okay. I mean, the top part is not that much more stable. I have to say like it's great. Uh, he's taller and everything, but it's not amazing. You know, the legs, awesome. But the rest, I don't know. Could I could have asked for a little more. Maybe it's because I need the, uh, the other upgrade kit, the 1.0. But I doubt it does anything different. All right, come on, slide in there. So I have to be careful. All right, so this always happens. This is where yeah you hide the gun and that little thing here and this doesn't peg well uh, there you go you can check the review and you'll see okay i think i'm done let me do some i guess handheld shots i hate doing those but for this guy won't have much of a choice you know reviewing titans is always a a gamble uh but this is uh this is ridiculous so he's taller now than the Siege uh, Guardian Robot and Omega Supreme. But he looks fantastic. He's stable enough. He stands better. Uh, honestly, I mean, if I push him, he's going to fall back. But I'm not worried he's going to fall forward, you know, from the shelf. So, 
that's a huge bonus so yeah uh, problem is he doesn't fit on the shelf anymore uh, well let me show you uh, now it's funny because i can actually grab him and not be afraid that everything's gonna fall off so he used to go there and now he's you know from foot to the top he's taller now he's taller than the shelf i'm gonna have to rearrange this whole section uh not too sure how i'm gonna do that but anyway uh well there you go guys i hope uh this was a lot more painful to do on camera than I thought. And now you can see all my crap in the back, but he looks really good. I mean, the head sculpt, uh, the new one is really good. The ex arm extension, the legs. Uh, the biggest bonus is this part here. That's super solid. Uh, I really, just that alone, I would have been happy. Actually, honestly, yeah, uh, if if it would have been just the two feet adapter, perfect. All I need. So, all right, guys, uh, this is going to be it. So, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this, uh, whatever this was, and uh, I hope you're going to come back. Uh, if you did like it, please like, subscribe, and the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.